about. And there's been quite a lot of news today. And this is probably why we had technical issues, just so we could get yeah. some more, more stuff. So we're going to start... With, it's a, basically a trilogy of, uh, we know Paratici is over in Italy um, trying to organise some deals. So we're going to look at these deals or talk about these deals. And the first one is Sampdoria looking at Brian Hill. Mm. What's your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean, considering it's supposed to be the next Messi, it's not really worked out, worked out for him. And um, I think he needs another loan. Personally, I'd, if it's not worked out for him, by now, uh, it's another loan deal, isn't it? That some are looking at. Maybe Premiership just isn't Premier League just isn't for him. Um, he needs to go to a team where he's going to get first team regular football. It's not going to be with us. Yeah, I mean, I've spoken about this. Uh, Will Stewart as well. I, I didn't understand this transfer from the get go, mm. um, especially seeing that we're with the Tomiyasu and both at the Olympics, and then losing Lamella in the deal as well, whether you liked him or not. It, now, if you look at 25 million plus Lamella, yeah. it's looking like a, a deal that has gone peaked on. But the the thing I don't get with this is obviously he played well for bits in the Europa uh, Conference yep. and he looked like he had something. And then, all right, we want to send him out on loan. So we send him out to Spain when he was saying, struggling to get to grips with the English game and whatever. So we sent him out to where he's uh, comfortable in Spain. Mm. And he comes back and now he could be going off to Italy. I yep. mean, I... I Maybe there is a player that I don't think there is, but maybe there is. Maybe there is. But I I think he should go on loan to a premiership or, or, or challenging championship team. But do you think the fact that it is only loan deals that are coming in for him says more about the player than than, than Tottenham? If Tottenham had the chance, would they sell him? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I would. Yeah. I would, because this one looks like another one that we've just got in. May not work. And one of the problems we have is obviously keeping players for way too long. Yeah. Or giving them new contracts and then not getting rid of people when when it's clearly not working. And this one, I, I, I don't know. I mean, from what I was talking with Simeon yesterday here, apparently Marseille are also interested as yep. well. And I'm not a big follower of the French League, but Simeon was saying that the French League is a little bit more physical. Mm. So maybe a move there might do him better. Do you think the same? Maybe, maybe. I, I just think for me, it's all about if he's going to fit into the Tottenham team. Yep. Um, as harsh as it sounds, I don't care where he goes. Um, he's clearly not going to improve our squad. Um, if he goes away and becomes a better player and, and adds something to our squad two years down the line, then so be it. But right now, yeah, I think best for him is to go to another club and prove himself there. And if that ends up in, in, a, in, a, in a permanent buy, then so be it. So there you go. He could be heading off to Sampdoria. But now this is the one I really want to talk about. And it is Jose Mourinho is mm. interested in reuniting with Joe Rodham. Mm. And this one has come right out of left field for me, but I can see why. When we had Joe Roden, his best form, obviously, he was bought under Jose. And I, th I personally think the game's building up to Jose Sakin. He was our best defender. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I agree with that, but he's never had that starting berth, has he? He's never been consistent in our first team 11 and for what three four managers to have not picked him continuously there's something there maybe his attitude's not right maybe there's some personal thing going on I don't want to go into alleged things yeah. but maybe there's something there that's the reason why he's not been able because look he came in towards the end of the North London derby Conte d d trusted him with that um Obviously, the, it was a bit of an anticlimactic uh, end day, end of day for him because he had to go home half half time, didn't he, with a dodgy belly or something. So, um, yeah, there's a reason why he's not been because when he plays for Wales, it's, it's, you can see what the talent. Well, there's a talent there, but yeah, for him not to play consistently and being picked, especially when we're looking for a, a left-footed defender, just says something a bit more. It, it doesn't. If you look at it, Mourinho brought him in. Obviously, it was Skriniar that we wanted, wasn't it, at the time? And uh, that deal didn't go through for obvious reasons. Or not for obvious reasons. We just couldn't agree the fee. No, we, um, know the, we know the reasons. I'm we know the reasons. I'm staying away from that. Um, but obviously, Roden came in and he was well, he was, uh, well sought after. A lot of uh, faith was in him and people were thinking this is an up-and-coming prospect. Made his debut against Chelsea. I remember made a couple of mistakes, but the rest of the game, he was fantastic. 
and then got the occasional run in with Mourinho. But you're right, no one trusted him. No, Nuno, I don't think he. I mean, uh, he, I don't think he played a minute under nope. uh, Ma uh, Mason. No, nope. Nuno then came in, didn't see anything, nope. and now Antonio Conte. So you've got to think, like you said, for Wales and especially with Ben Davies, he's got a good partnership. There. Yeah, he shows that he is capable of playing at international level. But if for some reason. He just can't get it. And what do you reckon about a move to Italy? It's like Chris Smalling, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, it could work out. There is a player in him. You know, yeah. we're, not, we're not saying he's a rubbish player. There's obviously there's a reason why he's not fitting into the Tottenham, Tottenham line-up, Tottenham squad even at times. And, um, yeah, I think if, if he goes uh, to, uh, to uh, Sampdoria, I think he'll be, um, or oh, sorry, Roma, he'll be absolutely fantastic there. Sampdoria, or even Sampdoria <laughs> in Italy, uh, but no, I, I think wherever he goes, he'll, he'll he'll be he'll do fine. There is a player there. Like I say, the fact we're looking for a left-sided defender, and we're we're saying to come in and compete against a Ben Davis, not a Roden, I think quite clearly states. But it'd be interesting to see what the guys uh, think in the comments why they think. Roden's not getting any minutes. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is going to be another loan or or this is going to be a, a straight out fee. Uh, but if it was a fee, what do you reckon we could get for him? Do you reckon we, we're holding his value at the fourteen million or, or around that we paid for him? I, I'd be very surprised if we get any anywhere above twenty. The only reason why we'd get good money, goodish money for him, is for his um, um, performances for Wales. Yeah, you can't really no no international no national no. European teams going to look at his performances um, at, uh, at Spurs and think, right, he's valued at X amount. But, um, yeah, I think the quality is there to see to an extent. But I'd be very surprised if we get 20 plus. What do you reckon? Uh, do you know what? I think he's a young, young, young lad going out there. I reckon we could get our money back for him. I, I, I really do, but only because of his age and his, his like I said, his yeah. international. Um, he hasn't really uh, enhanced his feed with his, his uh, game time for Spurs, but it looks like there could be a reunion uh, with Mourinho and Joe Rodham. So uh, we'll wait and see what happens there. And then the final part of this trilogy, Spurs are apparently looking at, and I'm going to have to try and say this, <laughs> Zaniolo. Yes. I hope Iggy doesn't hold me hold it against me. He's already that. corrected me. I oh, has he? Yeah, yeah. I said Zaniola. There we go. For my sins. There you and, go. And uh, I don't think he's my friend anymore. <laughs> so, <laughs> obviously, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to confess to say, no, I know a lot about this guy, but we did speak to Iggy, and Iggy uh, said yeah. a few bits. Yeah, yeah ba basically, he says, look, good player, um, an attacking midfielder, like we all know, uh, technically very good. But what worries Iggy, and I've seen this comment a couple of times, is his two ACLs he's had in space of two years. Um, st Stats-wise, he's not not that bad. He's not the greatest. But certainly, um, you know, it's uh, it, it's something that... Uh, a, a position that certainly we, we should be looking at, as far as I'm concerned. Is he the answer? Is he the player who'd personally be on my... Personally be my first choice? Not really. But... Hey, if Iggy says he's worried about the two ACLs, then uh, Iggy being the fountain of knowledge when it comes to all <laughs> things Italian football. You just burped into the speaker. No, I said... Pfft. Oh, right, OK. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so, uh, yeah, uh, if, if Iggy has worries about him, then so do I. Yeah, I mean, uh, a ACLs are, are huge injuries to come back from. I don't. Is it, did Iggy say if it was the same ACL or, or no, one on each? No, one on each knee. Oh, my God. Yeah, so it's... It's that's like, like our technical issues this morning. I just think we're, we should be in a position where we bring in a player without a butt, and that's no our year in that statement. It should be a case of good player, but one for the future. Good player, but worried about his injury list. Good player, but um, I just think we need to we need to look at uh, the next level of signings. Now we've got the manager in place. We've certainly made a couple of signings that potentially could take us to the next level. If there's any doubt about a player, I think we're beyond that now. We should be beyond that now. We should believe it, expect it and want it. Yeah.